Hey everyone, this is Mega Man, the tech manager for Pokemon Infinite Fusion, and I'm going to go through the official installation guide for Steam Deck. I am the tech manager for the game, so all the files that I do provide are authentic. Do not get them from any other site, and actually don't even get them from Discord for Steam Deck, because we need a particular setup for Steam Deck to work, and I also provide the setup with all the sprites, so you don't have to do anything or download anything else. The files in Discord are just for Windows, so for Steam Deck, make sure to get the game from the description down below. So in the description, it'll be a Mediafire link. So once you click that link, you should see this. It is going to be 2.5 gigs as of right now, but the game files continuously grow because at the end of the month, we get new sprites. So as of right now, it's 2.51 gigs. Um, go ahead and click on download, and that'll start downloading the game files for you. Once it is done, go down here and you'll open up Dolphin or your file manager. On the left side, click Downloads because that's where all your downloads go and you will see InfiniteFusion.rar. Go ahead and right click this, then go to Extract and then select the option for Extract Archive here. Click on that um, and Auto Detect Subfolder, sorry. Go ahead and click on that and it's going to take a little bit because the file is large but it will create the Infinite Fusion folder for you. So when you double click on this, you will see all your game files there. Really quick, before we continue, make sure that you're doing this on your downloads folder or your desktop or somewhere on your main drive. This does not work if you put this on your SD card. For whatever reason, Steam doesn't like it. Also, the performance is really bad even on PC when you have it on an external hard drive. So for whatever reason, you need to put it on your main drive. So make sure you have the necessary space for this game. Okay, so now that that's extracted, we can go ahead and close this and we'll come back to it later. The next thing you need to do is you need to open up your Discover Store here on the bottom or just, you know, go to your Discover Store. And you need to download two things. The first thing we need to download is Proton. So let's go ahead and type that and you'll see Proton up hyphen QT. Mine says remove because I already have it installed, but you will see the install button on yours and click install. Once it's done installing, go ahead and click on this. And on the top right, you'll see a launch button and go ahead and click on that. Now, in this window, you will not see anything if you didn't have this installed already. I already have the latest version of Proton installed. But what you need to do is what you need to do is click on add version. It's going to auto populate with the latest version of Proton already for you and just click install. Once you click install, the bottom here is going to have a little progress window and it's going to go all the way to 100%. Once it gets to 100% and it's completed, you will see it here on this list just like myself here and you'll see the latest version of Proton. The next thing you need to do is you need to go back to the store and you need to search for Q4 Y. Same as last time, mine says remove because I already have it installed, but go ahead and click install. And once it's done, let's just go ahead and click on this and launch it. And we're just going to open it um, just to make sure if there's any setup or anything, just go through it, leave everything default. You don't need to change anything and it'll lead you to this here. And that's all we need to do. Just open it and then close it back up. All right. The next thing you need to do is you need to go and open Steam. And let's go to uh, your library. Once you go here, go ahead and expand this. And on the bottom left, you will see add a game. That's what we're going to do. Click add a game. And you'll see these options here. Click add a non Steam game. And what you need to do is click on browse. And then go into downloads. Infinite Fusion. Expand this or double click it. It's fine and you will have these options here for the game. Game.exe is the one that works the best for Steam Deck. It performs the best on Steam Deck and it just works really well. So I definitely suggest doing this. Even if you want to play offline, you can load Game.exe and just turn off the options for download sprites. If for whatever reason you're having issues playing offline with this, go ahead and select preloaded.exe, but this file for whatever reason loads up and performs slower on Steam Deck. So I definitely recommend that you select game.exe. So let's go ahead and select that. And up here you'll see game.exe and let's hit add selected program. 
So on the left here of your library, you will see game.exe. And this is gonna be Pokemon Infinite Fusion. So let's go ahead and customize it. So click Manage here, and then click on Properties. Let's go ahead and rename this Pokemon Infinite Fusion. And then you can go ahead and close this and it'll update. Now let's also get some artwork because this is kind of boring, right? Um, so let's go ahead and open up your browser. I'll put the link in the description as well, but I'm gonna be using Steam Grid DB. Once you go into here, you can type in Pokemon Infinite Fusion. Oh, you also need to spell it right or spell it close, but you know what you do. <laughs> you know what to do. So just type in Pokemon Infinite Fusion and you'll get this artwork here. So what you can do is I recommend getting a vertical banner and a horizontal banner for the two different areas in Steam where you can apply the artwork. So let's go ahead and click on this one, right click it, save image as, and I'm just going to name it so I know which one it is. I'm going to name it vertical. Now let's go ahead and save. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to get the other banner here and I'm going to save as, and I'm going to say horizontal. And I have those two images saved. So now let's go ahead and click on manage and go back to properties. And on this blank space here, let's go ahead and put the uh, vertical image. So it looks like the images need to be in .png or .tga. So let me go back to here let me get the vertical one click save as again and here in this drop down I will set to all files and let's just make it vertical.png and just in case I need this in PNG also I'm gonna go ahead and save this already here so this one's gonna be called horizontal.png and it already set it to all files here on this filter and let's go back to Steam so let me go back here click manage go to properties click this box and let's do the vertical one there we go so let's go ahead and close this out next what you want to do is you want to right click here on the empty space and hit set custom background so let's go ahead and put the horizontal one and bam, you get some nice artwork here. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna click play here, but just for it to open and not actually open. It's gonna open, it's gonna try to open and it's gonna close right away and that's perfectly fine because that's what we wanted it to do. So once it does that, what you wanna do is you wanna click on library, go to home, scroll down and you'll see here on recent games, there's no artwork here. So let's go ahead and right click this, go to manage, Hit set custom artwork, select the horizontal one again, hit open, and bam, you will have artwork for that. And that's pretty much it for all the artwork. And that is actually everything we need to do in desktop mode. So the next thing you need to do is you need to go into gaming mode to be able to do the rest of the setup. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the video and go to gaming mode, but let's go ahead and cut back to it. All right. Now that we are in gaming mode, we are almost done with the setup. So what you need to do is you need to go ahead and press A on Pokemon Infinite Fusion. And let's go here into settings and let's go to uh, properties. From here, what you need to do is you need to go on the left side and go to compatibility and select this option here. It's gonna auto populate with the latest version of GE Proton that we just installed. If it does not auto populate it to this, go ahead and press A, and it'll usually be the very topmost option, but make sure it is the GE Proton that we just installed. Now, what you wanna do is press B, and you can go ahead and play. And it will go ahead and open up the game. So the next part, I want to go over where you can find the save file. So when you go ahead, 
what you need to do is you need to create a save file first to be able to locate the exact location of where it is going to be on your Steam Deck because everyone's location is different. Um, and some games also have the same kind of naming convention. Some, uh, some other Pokemon fan-made games have the same naming convention. So it is going to be a little bit tricky to find your save file, but let's go ahead and do that. You'll get this new default controls for copied, and you can go ahead and click OK, but you'll be in game. So what you want to do is you want to press A on your game, and let's just start creating a new game here. When it gets to this part, you need to press the Steam button and the X button for the keyboard to pop up. But I'm just going to put random, random name because we're not actually going to use the save file. So I'm just going to go through it. Like, as, like I said, don't worry about anything that you're putting in right now. We're going to be skipping all this. On Steam Deck, if you hold the left bumper, that is the super speed button, so it'll make it go faster. Okay, and once we're here, let's go ahead... No, sorry. <laughs> let's go ahead and hit save, and I'm going to save on file H. And I'm going to do that because it's such a weird location that it's going to be easy to find. Once it's here, I'm going to press the Steam button, and I'm going to hit Exit Game. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the Steam button again, go to Power, and I'm going to go back to Desktop Mode so I can show you where the save file is for uh, your Steam Deck. And what we're going to do with this location is we're going to save it somewhere so that it's easy to access. Or if you have save files from your computer or Android or anything else that you want to move into your Steam Deck, I'll be showing you where to place that. So let's go back into desktop mode. All right, now that we're back in desktop mode, let me show you where your save file is. So go ahead and click on File Manager. Then let's go ahead and scroll down and let's go to Home. From Home, what you need to do is you need to go to Deck. Then you need to go to Dot Local. If you do not see the Dot Local folder, what you need to do is you need to click on this button here and scroll down to show hidden files. That way you'll be able to see it because it's usually hidden. So let's click on dot local, then click on share, then let's go to Steam, then Steam Apps, and then Compat Data. So from here Every game file that you have or every game that you have is in here. And as you can see, it's not named any way specifically to be easy to find. Uh, so that's why I said we need to create a save file first so that we can find it. So what you need to do is you need to go here and let's click and let's type in file H because that is the save slot that we created for file H. And bam. We got the search result here. So what you want to do is you want to right click on this and hit open path in new window. And this will take you here to the location of your save file for Pokemon Infinite Fusion. You'll see your save file here and your key bindings here. And you will see here it's in your Infinite Fusion folder. So what I recommend you do is you click on here where it says roaming and where it says Infinite Fusion, click and drag this here to your left side. This will make it easy, so now that you're able to just close all this if you want and reopen your folder, you can easily navigate back to your save file folder from here. Now, I do recommend that you leave this save file in here for now. Just because game modes in Pokemon Infinite Fusion are unlocked once you have an existing save file. So if you wanted to play on Remix mode or Randomizer, you do need an existing save file. So leaving this in here is perfectly fine. And then you can create a new save file and you'll have those options for those game modes. Let me show you how to update the game if there ever is a game update for the game. So let's go back to your downloads folder here on the left side and you'll see the Infinite Fusion folder. Let's double click on this and you will see 
the file installer update. And this is actually going to be the file that will update your game files. So to update your game, you will need to right click this and hit open with and go to other applications. From here, go down to system, then go down to Q4 Wine, then click OK. Now, when this opens up, please verify that this is actually the correct path. So this is going to be the path for installer update. So it should be the same location as where this current folder is. And same with working directory. It needs to be both in the same place, the Infinite Fusion folder, and just program is going to be installer update. Sometimes there is a bug on Steam Deck where these don't match and it'll actually not run the update. But once that is done, go ahead and click OK. It'll do some configurations and that's perfectly fine. And what it's going to do is it's going to open up a command prompt window here and it's going to run through it and it's going to go ahead and update. The game files that I do provide are already updated to the latest version so we don't need to actually run this but I am just showing you what would happen if you do run it. Um, so don't be you know so concerned about running this update or if you're having issues with this you can let me know in Discord and I can help you out, but you won't need it because it already is the latest version of the game. Um, just depending on your internet, it is going to you know, take some time to install and update and stuff like that. Um, since we haven't updated the game files on your Steam Deck, that's why it's actually going through the whole update process. Um, but once you run this again, it'll be really quick because it's going to be like, oh, you're already up to date type of thing. So, um, that's why it's taking a little bit right now to quote unquote update, even though it already is on the latest update. Um, but yeah, um, just wait for this to finish. It'll be done rather shortly, actually. It's just updating all the files, making sure it's to the latest version. And once it gets to the end, it'll say thank you for installing and updating, and you can close this out. But yep. That's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you have any issues or any questions about this, let me know in the comments down below or let me know in Discord. I am way more active in Discord, so if you need any help, go through there. It is a lot easier to uh, get a hold of me there. But thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next